Hello, 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 my dear student. This week we will be covering chapter 12, lesson two, conditional probability. The essential question of this lesson, how are conditional probability and independence related in experiments? The vocabulary that we'll discuss is conditional probability and dependent events. After finishing this lesson, you will be able to find the probability of an event given that another event has occurred. So let's go through this lesson. In the first example, we will be understanding conditional probability. Here is the example that we will be covering. We will have two methods in which we will do solve the example. This is the rule for conditional probability. We say probability of event B after A occurring is P, probability of B and A intersection divided by the probability of A. We will discuss it in details in our classes. Then this is the concept that we will be studying let a and b be events with probability of a must not be equal to zero probability of b must not equal to zero if an event a and b are independent then the probability of b after a happening equals the probability of b and the probability of a after b happening is equal to the probability of b Then we have the conceptual understanding. Use the test for independence. Here we have an example that shows the vehicles in a parking garage one afternoon. A vehicle in the garage will be selected at random and we will solve the question. Are the events B and V independent or dependent? We will solve it using two methods. This is method one which proves that they are dependent, and then method two, which shows that they are also dependent. Then we will apply the conditional probability formula in solving this question. As you are used by now, always we solve, 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 and solve in order to make sure that our answer, uh, we understand the concept thoroughly. Then we will use conditional probability to make a decision <clears throat> throughout this example here that will be done in our class. Then we have the concept summary of what we have learned. And finally, practice, practice, and practice solving many questions to make sure that you have understood everything clearly. Some examples here. Then we have the uh, concept check of the book. Questions, as you can see, many, many questions. So as I was saying, the lesson is very easy. It's conditional probability. It's the probability of uh, an event occurring after another event have been occurring. I hope you will understand this lesson as you have understood all the lessons before. Have a good day.